Do you have kids, siblings, or other immediate family members who have what is known as an intellectual or developmental disability, or IDD for short? And are you worried that they might not be able to find or keep a job in the future? Well, to let you know, there's an organization called Best Buddies International, and their mission is to end the social, physical, and economic isolation of millions of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And very recently, I got invited to talk to about 30 or so kids with IDD. And here's what we did for them. We gave them a test uh, called Start Strong, which is powered by SII, or the Strong Interest Inventory, a test which is distributed by the Myers-Briggs Company, the same company that gives you the MBTI and FIRE-OB assessments. And here's what the test revealed. The test identified what their predominant themes are. And this is sort of like what they're good at. They will know if they are a persuader, an organizer, a creator, helper, doer, or thinker. A persuader is someone who is enterprising and they are good at leading and influencing others. And based on the description, they are ambitious, assertive, and self-confident. And the work environment that would be good for them is something that's fast-paced and business-like, and that rewards individual efforts. The next category is called an organizer, and organizers are conventional. They like to organize things. They probably would be good at work environments that are business-like with well-ordered reporting lines. A third category is creator, and these are people who are artistic, and they probably would be good at some form of art. And they describe themselves as creative, expressive, and non-conforming. They like work environments that encourage individual self-expression. And this is something that's important because not everyone is cut out for office work. There are people who would probably excel in something which is very different from the usual office work that you know typical kids would like to go into in the future. Then there's the helper. The helper is very good at helping, instructing, and caring for others. And typically, the work environment that's good for them is something that's supportive, collaborative, and cooperative. And they like to solve problems through discussions of feelings and interactions with others. Another category is a thinker. They are all about analyzing and interpreting data. And the kind of work environment that's good for them is something that might be research-oriented or anything that encourages independent thinking. And lastly, there is the doer. The doer likes physical activity. They are normally physically active, they're practical and down-to-earth, and they're attracted to work environments that are product-oriented. Another thing that the test shows you is the kind of field or industry that might work for you given your strengths. And, you know, if you're interested in taking this test, let me know. I can make it available for you because it just might tell you what job you should be getting into. Now, if you're already someone who's highly successful, you probably don't want to take this test. This test is geared more for, for younger people, 16 and up, who are beginning to discover what course they should get into such that they can fully prepare for the job that's really meant for them. The best job for you is a job that makes use of your natural strengths. And it's something that you are interested in. Because if you find yourself doing a job that you're good at, but you don't like, you're going to get burned out. Or if it's something that you like to do, but you're not good at it, then probably you're not going to be fulfilled. Now, I have a question for you. How many of you, this is my last question, by the way, how many of you think that, you know, I would love to have many different jobs? Like, okay, I see some people raising their hand. What do I mean by that? Like, maybe my job might be office related, but on the side, what if I'm interested in singing? For those of you who have multiple interests, it's okay to have a job and a hobby on the side. Because a hobby is maybe where you will get to express your creativity, 
but the job is where you get to actually earn a living. So it, it, there are different combinations, but I do hope that with the test, you got to learn more about yourself today, and we wish you all the best in looking for a job that you love. Okay, so thank you everyone for taking the test, and have a great day.